Welcome back to Xbox Corner, my name is Alex and today I'll be running you through what's coming to Game Pass over this next week and then also any that were actually surprise dropped on Game Pass over this last few days because we've seen a few new additions so with that like hit subscribe, join our growing Xbox family and let's get started. So it's going to be a bit of a quicker week this one, not a huge amount hitting Game Pass but still 5 games to check out and one it's for sure going to be keeping you busy for a long time. So first up let's recap what happened in this last week and we actually got a surprise drop library of Ruiner, I think I'm saying that right, at the Xbox Indie Showcase. Well I can't say I've ever played it as well, I will say I saw a ton of buzz around it. Perhaps one of the stranger genre descriptions I've heard in a while, although it calls itself a library battle simulation game, but it seems from what I can tell it's going to be for card deck and dice fans. The idea though battle guests amass a collection of books and then uncover the truth about this world. I'm literally installing it as I record this video because the visual style just looks absolutely incredible and then the Steam reviews they are overwhelmingly positive with thousands of them in there but what stood out to me the most over on Steam was the playtime on record. Everything here from like a hundred hours to I saw one to near like a thousand hours so yeah it appears the replayability is real. Boyfriend Dungeon then, and yeah, not for me honestly, but it is a unique concept, I cannot deny that. Part dating sim, part dungeon crawler, and this is so ridiculous, but the tagline, romance your swords, because not only are they your weapons, which includes, by the way, like dancing swords and heart-piercing daggers, but they transform into human form as well. The dungeon crawling gives me almost entry-level super giant vibes. It's, you know, for sure nice looking and colorful, but your role is basically get your romance on while cleaving the dungeon of creatures boasting then multiple combat styles, an inclusive approach to gender and sexuality, and the ability to go out on dates with your weapons because yeah why the hell not. Maybe take a look, it dropped after a surprise launch on the Nintendo Switch and I do think Game Pass might be a perfect place for it because those that are simply curious to what it's all about, this may be a good way to look without you know spending any cash. New releases wise then we just saw the release of Art of Rally and it's described as a meditative race experience but I actually dropped a full review on this one already so I'm going to be linking that video in the pinned comment down below. That's thanks to the devs who were kind enough to supply a review copy. Looks beautiful though, the low poly style and an incredible synthwave soundtrack. I just had an absolute blast with it. It has a few issues I won't deny and it's definitely not meditative at first. If anything it's actually frustrating but once you get it and you can go with the flow and yeah I totally see what they were going for and I really enjoyed it so check that video out. Then let's drop the random release of the week before we do get to the big one and with very little description because in this case the name it says it all it's Microsoft Solitaire Collection it's Solitaire. It's celebrating the 30th anniversary though and I didn't know this bit of information. It's the most played video game of all time even though I would argue it had an unfair advantage because well it pretty much came pre-installed on everything so that's yeah, kind of, you know, cheating. A few variants though on the game to check out and I do respect the visuals they went for. I just wish we could see it running on a Series X. I could have done like a graphical comparison and everything. Jokes aside though, look, I used to love playing this back in the day so it is good to see the series getting, you know, a little love heading its way. All right, so our final game, Hades, and it is a masterpiece. I've been playing this for most of the day today. It's a must buy, and quite honestly, I reviewed it on the Switch where it suffered from some frame rate stumbles, but it still got an amazing nine out of 10 from me. On the Xbox, that issue seems to be removed so far, and the visuals, they are stunning in 4K. If all things go to plan though, you can expect a video from me here shortly. For those that may not know though, this is kind of the recent king of roguelike dungeon crawlers. It's critically acclaimed and rightfully so. And yeah, you'll be the prince of hell going against your father's wishes, Hades, and simply trying to escape. With each run though, you'll get stronger and stronger, you'll have stats to boost, weapons to experiment with, and along the way there's this huge cast of characters to meet who will offer both, I guess, wisdom and support. Not an easy game, but the consistent upgrading then that's permanent for sure makes it more accessible, and if you've never played it before, I strongly recommend it. Honestly, yeah, from what I've seen, even if you have played it, come back here, you will not regret it. Topping it off then is one of the best video game soundtracks I've heard in a long time that you need to listen to, whether that's as you play along in the game though. It can be a little bit difficult to focus on just because of how much action's going on, but you could even just jump across to Spotify and check it out there as well. 
So that's it for the games joining the service, but do remember then on the 16th we will see games like Darksiders Genesis, Don't Starve, and a fair few of us leave the service. Grand Theft Auto 5 that left, and it kind of caught a lot of people off guard earlier in the month, so check out the video we put out on every game leaving in August that is linked down below. I break down not only though what the game is about, but I'm going to tell you completion time so you can figure out if it's going to be worth the download and, you know, running through them quickly. All right, and that's how the week is shaping up currently. What will you be adding to the library this week? If any, of course, but let us know in the comments. I wanna see how many comments we can get that feature the word. Hey, it is. Before we do wrap this up then, we did just drop our first ever refuse for the channel. So if you have the time, we'd love to see you over there. That's gonna be Art of Raleigh from me and then Faraday Protocol from Luke. A great looking little puzzle experience. I'll link both of those down below with all the other videos we've spoken about today. But with that luck, like, hit subscribe, join our growing Xbox family, and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.